the next problem statement is bubble sort to sort the given list of elements in ascending order using bubble sort so the first one i require uh, some identifiers array uh, i've given some size next n to read the number of elements in the array next i and j for iteration temp one temporary variable now we need to ask the user to give the number of element in the array next uh, read the elements in the array so this is very simple which we have seen for the previous programs as well now the logic for bubble sort the logic for bubble sort is for i equal to 0 i less than n or i can take till n minus 1 that is also fine last iteration i can skip by i n minus 1 next i plus plus i plus plus next uh, i require one more for loop for j equal to 0 j less than n minus so here i am taking n minus i minus 1 n minus i minus 1 till this condition uh, the elements need to be traced and j plus plus so this will try to reduce the number of iteration that is the reason i am writing this so while we are executing the internal steps we will understand in detail why i have specified there n minus i minus 1 next let me write the condition to check array of now array of j is greater than array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 array of j plus 1 that is i am comparing the two elements two neighboring elements and if this condition is satisfied then i need to swap temp equal to array of j array of j i am going to store it in the temporary variable next array of j will be empty in array of j we are substituting value of array of j plus 1 array of j plus 1 value is been stored in array of j next array of j plus 1 will be empty array of j plus 1 equal to temp so this is what the simple logic for performing bubble sort this is one of the easiest and um, the best technique for sorting okay semicolon now let me execute this code and check whether i am going to get all the elements sorted in the ascending order or not now enter the number of elements let me take the number of elements as eight elements i'll take a random eight elements these are the random 43 56 23 78 89 3 5 6 so these are the random elements which i have read at compile time according to the size of the array so totally there are eight elements out of this eight elements after the logic we can see the elements they are in the sorted order so this is how we are going to implement the bubble sort now let me execute with one more test case to process the internal iteration so let me take four elements the four elements are 45 7 43 and 5 so these are the elements which are there as part of the array now let me uh, show the internal step before going into it let me first represent the array of 0 we have 45 in array of 1 we have 7 in array of 2 we have 43 in array of 3 we have 5 so these are the elements which are there in the array now let us process the internal step coming into the logic directly i equal to 0 i equal to 0 and i value is less than n minus 1 n value is 4 that is 0 is less than 3 0 is less than 3 condition is true for the first for loop now it will go for the next for loop in the next for loop what we have j equal to 0 j equal to 0 and 0 is less than what is the n value n value is 4 4 minus what is i value 0 minus 1 now what is 4 minus 0 minus 1 the value is 3 is 0 less than 3 condition is true now condition is true your control will enter into this if condition that within the loop now if 
if what is the condition array of j what is the j value zero array of j is greater than array of j plus one that is zero plus one is one in array of zero what is the value we have forty five is forty five greater than seven condition is true if condition is true then we need to perform the swapping logic then we need to perform the swapping logic so what is that swapping we are going to do temp equal to array of j in array of 0 what is the value we have we are storing it in temp that is 45 now is stored in temp next in array of j that is array of 0 now it is empty right in this we are going to store array of j plus 1 element j plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1 which means in array of 0 now we are going to store the element is 7 next now which is empty array of j plus 1 array of j plus 1 is array of 1 in array of 1 we are going to store the temporary value which is 45 now after this particular uh, iteration so what is the output which we have is the first so we got 7 next 45 next 43 next 5 now in 0 we have 1 in 1 we have 45 in 2 we have 43 in 3 we have 5 so this is how the elements are being uh, stored in the first iteration next again increment the j value by 1 now let me increment the j value by, by 1 so what is the j value j value is 1 j value is 1 now check the condition 1 less than what is the n value n value is 4 minus what is the i value 0 minus 1 now the condition is is 1 is 1 less than 3 is 1 less than 3 the condition is true so why we are processing this one more uh, iteration related to j is uh, we all know that in a bubble sort in the first iteration itself we should get the highest that is the maximum element at last okay the highest element should go for the last that is the reason we are processing this iteration right now 1 is less than 3 condition is true now arr array of check the condition array of now what is j value j value is 1 array of 1 is greater than array of what is j plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 in array of 1 what is the value we have 45 is 45 greater than 43 condition is true if condition is true what is the next step we need to process the next step is we need to go for swapping logic now whenever we are going to swap the elements now what is the logic behind this is so once the condition is true the next uh, iteration we are going next we need to process the swapping logic now the swapping logic is temp equal to what is array of j now j value is 1 in array of j the value is 1 that is array of 1 we have the value as 45 45 is stored in temporary variable next in array of j now we need to store array of j plus 1 now what is array of j plus 1 j value is the earlier j value is 1 what is 1 plus 1 2 in array of 2 whatever the value we have we are going to store it in array of 1 now the value stored here is 43 next in array of j plus 1 that is in array of 2 we are going to store temporary value so after these processing of iterations the output will be 7 43 45 and 5 so in zeroth location we have 7 in first location we have 43 in second location we have 45 and in third location we have 5 next again increment j value by 1 now j value is 2 is 2 less than what is the condition 2 less than the n value what is the n value n value is still 4 right n value is fixed that is 4 is 2 less than the given condition what is the condition 4 minus i minus 1 what is 4 minus 1 4 minus 0 minus 1 that is 3 2 is less than 3 condition is true if condition is true next we need to process the if condition if array of j what is the j value 2 is greater than array of 3 
that is 45 is greater than 5 condition is true if condition is true we need to swap now temp equal to what is the array of uh, array of 2 we have array of 2 value is 45 so 45 is stored in temp next in array of 2 what is the value we need to store array of j plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 is 3 so in array of 3 we have 5 so 5 is stored in array of 2 next array of array of j plus 1 that is 3 in array of 3 we need to store the temp value what is the temp value temp value is 45 so 45 is stored in array of 3 now after this iteration the output is 7 43 5 and 45 0 location is 7 in first location is 43 second location is 5 and in the third location we have 45 next again increment the j value by 1 now j value is 3 uh, check the condition is 3 is less than 4 minus i minus 1 that is 3 less than 3 condition is false now with this particular iteration we can come to a conclusion that uh, bind in a bubble sort in the first iteration itself we get the maximum element to the last position now processing to the next uh, uh, next iteration of i now increment i value by 1 i equal to 1 so i value is 1 now 1 is less than n minus 1 that is 3 condition is true if this i value is uh, equal to 1 and uh, 1 is less than 3 condition is true now we need to process with the for loop now again j equal to 0 is uh, j that is less than 0 is less than what is the n value n value is 4 minus what is i value 1 minus 1 that is 0 less than 4 minus 2 what is 4 minus 2 2 0 less than 2 so this is how we are going to minimize the number of iterations 0 less than 2 condition is true if this condition is true now we need to go for the if statement that is if arr of what is the j value j value is 0 is if arr of 0 is greater than arr of what is 0 uh, j plus 1 0 plus 1 is 1 in error of 0 according to the previous iteration we have the value as 7 is 7 greater than 43 is 7 greater than 43 condition is false if condition is false we are not going to swap the elements next again increment the j value by 1 now j is 1 check the condition is 1 less than 2 is 1 less than 2 condition is true again check the condition if error of 1 is greater than error of 2 error of 1 is greater than error of 2 the condition is true once the condition is true that is 43 greater than 5 condition is true we need to perform the swapping temp equal to error of j now what is the j value we have 1 in error of 1 what is the value we have 43 43 is stored in temp next in error of j j we need to store error of j plus 1 what is j plus 1 value 2 in error of 2 the element we have is 5 now 5 is stored in error of 0 now 5 is stored in error of 1 error of 1 next error of j plus 1 that is in second location we are going to store the temporary value now after this processing of iteration the output of this particular iteration will be the first value is the 7 and the second the value will be 5 next 43 so in the first index we have 5 the second index we have 43 and in the third index we have 45 next again process the iteration j value increment by 1 now j value if you increase the value by 1 j value is 2 is 2 less than 2 condition is false if condition is false we need to again go back to the iteration i now let us increment the i value by 1 i value earlier was 1 now it is 2 now check the condition is 2 is less than 3 condition is true if condition is true now again go back to the for loop for j equal to 0 and j less than n minus 1 n minus what is the i value 2 n value is 4 minus i value is 2 minus 1 4 minus 3 the value is 1 so check the condition is 0 less than 1 condition is true if condition is true we need to process this if now arr of what is the j value 
j value is 0, j value is 0 greater than ARR of j plus 1. What is j plus 1? 1 is 7 greater than 5. Condition is true. If condition is true, we need to swap. Now, what is the swapping logic? Temp equal to ARR of j, that is ARR of 0. In ARR of 0, we have 7. 7 is stored in temp. Next, ARR of 0, ARR of 0, we need to store ARR of j plus 1 element. What is j plus 1? 0 plus 1 is 1. So, in ARR of 1, we have element 5. Now, 5 is stored in ARR of 0. Next, in ARR of j plus 1, that is in ARR of 1, we are going to store temp. So, after this iteration, after this iteration, we are going to get the values in this way. Like 5 in the 0th index. In the first index, we get 7. In the second index, we get 43. And in the third index, we get 45. Next, after this iteration, again increment j value by 1. Now, j value is now j value is 1. Is 1 less than 1? Condition is false. If condition is false, we need to go back to the previous for loop. And in the previous for loop, we increment i value by 1. Now, i value equal to 3. Is 3 less than 3? Condition is false. Which means the first for loop is also failed. Now, your control will come outside of this for loop and you are going to print this element. So, this is how you got the resultant elements printed as part of the bubble sort technique.